it's a wet and windy morning and I'm here ready to take on my last push along the coast of Ballycastle in what is the last two sections of the Ireland Way. Now this particular section is a 16 kilometer section but it's actually a link section for walking so it's not recommended to you walk it. Um, what I've been using, I've been using the cycle route signposts in 93 so uh, I've been following them since Castle Rock. There's one thing that is quite prevalent in Corian, and that's the Union Jack. So this here is actually a peace monument. The really, really interesting thing about this that I've just read is that the, the metal that was used for it is from melted down firearms. This coastal cliff walk is something I'm really, really enjoying. It's absolutely lovely. The waves are crashing in underneath me. You've got the fresh sea air just blowing into your face. It's, it's so uplifting. It's so exhilarating. It's, it's so beautiful. Um, pity it wasn't a clearer day, but sometimes you just have to be in awe at the, the raw power of nature and the waves crashing on the rocks. And, So the trail has pulled me onto a beach just past Port Rush. It's absolutely beautiful, absolutely stunning. And um, I think I see a familiar face up ahead. That's what you see here. The trail has brought us out into the main road, but thankfully, uh, thankfully we have uh, footpaths that we can walk on. Uh, not the greatest for the for the feet, but uh, listen, a lot better than nothing. After a quick visit to Dunluce, we thankfully stayed with through hiking and Ireland Way legend Dermot Breen. It's the last day. It's the last stretch to Ballycastle. We made it to um, Port Ballinatay. Port Bante last, last night, got in, had a nice rest, and we're ready. You ready? Ready to go. Woo. Let's do this.
So that's Aoife's leg finished. How did it feel? It was lovely. It was a really nice walk. It was tough, tough at times, but it was beautiful. The course walk was beautiful. I suppose I'll see you at Bally Castle. See you at Bally Castle. I knew this was going to be an epic journey, but I'm looking forward to finishing up and getting to the end. But I'm also a tiny bit sad that tomorrow I won't be walking on this path. I won't be walking this route. I could walk the whole way back down, but um, no, I'm not going to be doing that. <coughs> friends in this Ireland way. <laughs> Bally Castle. I made it. <laughs> oh. One last thing to do. Touch that children earlier monument. Yeah. <laughs> and so it was. After just over 1,000 kilometers, many bruises, laughs, blisters, ups and downs, I had finished my Ireland Way journey. Joyously touching that monument, I celebrated with close family and friends claiming my completion cert the day after. It was also time to say a long overdue goodbye to the hair and raising 750 euro in the process for the Kevin Bell Repatriation Trust, which in fact topped up the impressive total of over 11,000 euro. Things got even better when I managed to scoop two awards the most inspiring adventure in the Irish Adventure Awards and the Community Hero Award at the Little Awards. However, the lasting memories I take are from the amazing people I met, the epic experiences I had and the humbling lessons that I learned. And to you, my faithful viewers, thank you immensely for following my journey. I really hope you stick around for the adventures to come but for now, farewell to you all, and thank you once more for joining me on this adventure. <laughs>